Hello, Genoverse. How are you all? Are you already playing um, Gino Pets? If not, let me know why. I guess most most of you will say that you don't have the uh, code yet. Or maybe if you already have the code, you will say you don't have the habitat yet. So at least if you're not playing yet, I still suggest that you watch this video so you will have an understanding how you can um, calculate the energy that you can get when walking or how will you convert your uh, uh, key tokens back to energy or how much uh, time or how much uh, steps that you need to reach your maximum uh, key capacity per day so more you can expect in this video so uh, let's start by sharing to you uh, the video that I did um, two days ago um, the title is called Gino Pets Harvesting Key calculation so i highly suggest guys that if you hadn't seen this video you still check it out after this uh presentation because with that one i manually showed you teach you how you can compute the daily key uh, cap and uh, how the habitats has played in terms of increasing your uh, capacity or how much you can calculate the energy that you need con to convert to um, get the maximum capacity. But in this video, I'm going to share to you the automatic. You don't need to calculate. You just need an internet and go to this website, which basically makes calculation easier. So this is just um, a recap of... Uh, uh, the table that you need to know in order for you to understand how they derive all those calculation. And again, this was all discussed on that previous video that I shown you, including how to calculate the uh, final key capacity of your habitat if you have sub habitat. So I'm referring to this site. Uh, website is genoverse.guide. I will put the uh, link on the description of this video if you want to check it out. This is courtesy of p.e.st. So I think this is the uh, guild as well. So this is the home page. Now let's go to steps and energy. So basically, um, just in here, you can enter the steps that you had uh, done. Like, let's say, for example, I think today I have 13,000 something. So I'll just put 13,000. And I think my enter your pet level, I think I'm already level two. So I'll put level two. So it means I had earned 9,236 energy out of this 13,000 steps. So it's very cool, guys. Very easy. You just need to put the steps that you had, the level of your pet. And that's it. It will show you the energy that you can get. Now, uh, let's go to steps for energy. Let's say, what's your target energy? Let's say per day, um, my target is 2,500 because that will, uh, with my level 2 habitat, that will make me maximize the 50 uh, key cap that I need. So if I put 2,500... I will put the level of my pet too. And then it tells me that I need 2,633 steps for me to get 2,500 energy. So this is very cool, guys. You can either put the steps for energy or energy from steps. So you will not get lost because it will tell you the description on the box. Okay, so that's for steps and energy. Now let's go to the conversion of energy to key token. So let's say, for example, um, I want to use uh, 3,000 energy. So you need to choose the level of your first habitat or your main habitat. Is it a normal uh, habitat level one? Is it level two, level three? Or is it a genesis level one, level two, or level three. 
I have a normal Genesis habitat level two. Oh, sorry, level. What am I? I forgot. I think I'm. Yeah, I think I'm level two. Level two. Okay, so if I want to convert my three thousand energy, you now you the second thing you need to choose is um, uh, uh, in here it's pretty good because if you want a seven day with waiting period, um you will have 28.5 key. Now, if you wait for for uh, 10 days, you will have 42.9 key. Now, if you wait for 14 days, you will have 50 key. Now, it says here key overflow. Um, key overflow means there will be extra 10 key that I cannot farm. So, because with level two habitat, I can only have 50 key capacity as you can see on this table. As you can see here, I can only farm 50. So what will I do? I don't want to uh, waste the key. So maybe I will reduce this to uh, 2,500. So that's it. So your goal is make sure that you will not go over your maximum key capacity that's why it's very important for you to memorize this i guess this is not hard to memorize especially you only have one habitat so meaning to say every single day i just need to um burn or um, use 2500 energy for me to get my maximum key and again if you want to know how many steps you need you can go back here and say uh use the uh target energy so my target energy is 2500 the level of my gene geno pets is 2 so see it will just tell me i need 2633 minimum steps per day for me to get the 2500 but again i won't suggest that you just do exactly 2000 633 sometimes there are some problem with your phone if you say shake it too much so I still suggest you go like say 3,000 at least, like give a bit of buffer or uh, extra just in case some steps will not be detected from the app. So that's one of my biggest tip. Now let's go back to the energy to key. How if you, if you have another um, habitat, let's say level one. So as you can see, go back to the 3,000 energy. So as you can see, my capacity increased because of the two uh, habitat. And now, as you can see, there's no overflow. Meaning to say, even if I wait for 14 days, I can farm 60 because my maximum cap is 88. So again, if you, if you just want to understand how this 88 works, you can use either this calculation which again, I describe in this video that I'm telling you initially, I made a sample calculation there, very easy to understand. Okay. So in short, it's like I gave you like a, uh, in this video, I, I teach you how to do it manually, but in here, it's like a calculator. You don't need to do it manually, but again, it's good to understand the concept behind just in case this website went down or or whatever happens, then at least you can still calculate. Okay. So if you have a, another ha sub-habitat, then you can just put the level here and if it's Genesis or normal and it will automatically calculate for you and you can put any energy that you want to use and it will auto-update. So it's pretty, pretty cool. This is very cool, guys. You just need to bookmark this page in your computer so if you want to know details, then you can easily go back. Okay. Now let's go to keto energy. So for example, you had converted a lot of your energy to key and for whatever reason, maybe you want to use your energy to level up your geno pets, you have a chance to convert back your key into energy. So the conversion is one key will give you 45 energy so let's say i want to convert uh, 26 so it will uh, automatically um uh, 
tell you how much energy the will you get out of this key. So 50 key, 2.273 energy. So that's pretty much it. Donation is, if you find this site helpful, feel free to tip us a coffee that can be turned into more code. We gladly accept USDC, Sol, Jean, SGN, and Key on Solana. None of the provided data is guaranteed to be correct. Always do your own research. None of the provided data is financial advice. So just in case you want to help the developers of this website, then feel free to copy the wallet and transfer some of the tokens that they mentioned here. And again, they said uh, it's not 100% correct. But I think I verified some of them. They're, they're pretty much um, on the spot. So I still suggest you also try it, guys. Uh, I already showed you how to manually calculate. So you can easily verify if what they have done here is correct. And also you can go, keep going back to the white paper to verify the uh, data that it produced on their calculator. Okay, so what do you think, guys, about this uh, automated uh, guide that uh, the PEST had done for me? I find it really cool and very helpful. But at the same time, I know in my mind that even if this site will go away or it will be down for whatever reason, I can still go back on the white paper and in my video so I can manually calculate how much key, how much steps, how much energy uh, do I need for a specific habitat and how to calculate a uh, different habitat combination. So yes, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you've learned something from today. And again, I, I really like the site. I bookmark in my computer so I can uh, instantly know the figures that I like. So if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. If you find value to my channel, please hit that like button. And of course, let me know, guys, on the comment section, what do you think about this so far? And also, let me know what else do you want to know about GenoPets. As you can see, I'll be creating more content about GenoPets as well. So until next time, let's go and terraform.